Hi YouTube, I'm Maimon, and welcome back to one of my auto repair videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take out the circle time belt. There are a couple ways to do it. Let's go over this first one. It requires a specialty tool. This is a dedicated tool used for it. And the reason why is because when you're using this, it's not, it's not going to fit. And it's different because of this tool. One, it's flat and it's also long. So take the end of it, which is a socket, and you want to sort of put it on. See, this is why it can fit. It's really flat. And the way I remember is that you pull it back and then it should, this is this kind of acts as, acts, acts as a tensioner, this part right here. And when you pull it back, it gives more space for the belt to move and loosen. So when you pull it back, when you pull it back, I, actually when you pull the bar back, this goes forward. So from our perspective, it's gonna go forward. and that's going to cause the belt to have less tension and you're going to be able to slip it out. But let's not do that right now so we can get on to the other method, which is, uh, I only recommend to skilled mechanics or if you're really desperate and you don't have this tool. This way is a bit different. Uh, like I said, if you're a skilled mechanic, uh, maybe you can try it. But if you're a newbie like me or a kid, you definitely shouldn't try it. So you want to take your one wrench, want to slip it on. This is a number 14, by the way. Uh, not sure if you can see actually. I'm gonna try to do it without the light blocking it. All right, so we finally got some light in and you have to make sure that the wrench is oriented so that it can actually go on. All right, this is gonna be the risky part. So you wanna take a second wrench. This is a number 17 wrench. You're going to slip it on like so. Make sure it goes through the hole. Okay, so it's gonna look like that. Now, this is the risky part, so when you my, pop, my dad probably won't let me do this because it's a bit risky and it might slip. But basically what you want to do, I'm not going to pull it too hard, but what you want to do is you want to push it back, move your hand. I don't want to move. You can see it's moving a bit. And see, the belt is losing tension. But I don't want to do it too much. And that's why my dad has this dedicated tool here. So I'm going to actually remove the belt this time with the dedicated tool. So clip it on. This one's way easier to get it on. Actually, I wanna angle it so that it's easiest to get off. Okay, so pull it back. Just slip it off right here. Don't do it anywhere else because this is the safest, safest place. All right, so we got it off. Okay, put that aside. Putting the belt back on is the same process, just in reverse. Uh, when you're putting the belt back on, remember to look at the diagram to make sure everything's all right. Uh, the diagram usually should be on the bottom of the hood or somewhere here, but we don't have it. So I guess you just look online if you can't find it here. And what you would want to do is you want to take your dedicated tool. It's actually much easier if it's a dedicated tool. And you want to make sure that the belt doesn't slip off. So you're just going to release the tension or slide that off to the left. And it should give you enough space to slide that upward. Okay. And then make sure that's all aligned. And then we can let go of the tension, and uh, it's pretty good. Now, this method with the specialized tool, very safe. With the wrenches, <laughs> not so much. So, I definitely do not recommend it if you're a kid. Do not try this at home. But if you're a special, if you're a skilled mechanic, it's up to you. I'm Iman, and I just showed you how to remove and install the Serpentine belt for a Honda Accord 2003 to 2007. Now, in theory, the process should be similar for most cars. They should have a tensioner usually. Um, and one thing I just want to mention before I go is actually, yeah, one thing I want to mention before I go is that after you've installed the belt, make sure to get back into the car, uh, turn the engine on to make sure nothing has slipped, and that's a very important step. Uh, another important step is uh, when you're done with everything, don't forget to take anything out, like the light, because 
I remember working on the tire side, the tire, and we forgot a light in the wheel well. My dad forgot about it. Uh, I forgot about it. He turned on the engine. He drove it around just to make sure everything was all right. And as he was driving, he heard like this really like this weird noise. I can't replicate it, but this noise that indicated that the <laughs> it broke the flashlight. So just remember to take anything out that might interfere with the engine and it should be all good. Signing out. Peace. It's getting pretty dark out.